Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. Now, <clears throat> what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> well, with the impending election tomorrow, this country has, in the last few weeks, been in a state of confusion, frustration, um, riots, hatred <laughs> on both sides. But we need to remember one thing. God is good. God is always in control. And he's not surprised at what's going on. And even after tomorrow, when we find out who won the election, he's not going to be surprised. You might be, I might be, but he won't. God has been here long before this election. He'll be here long after. But you have to take one thing in consideration. is God's will who sits in the White House. Yeah, we can vote all we want and we can discuss who's better than who. But at the end of the day, it's God's will. And there's one thing I would like you all to remember and keep this in mind. I actually found this online the other day and I thought this was a really good thing to, for us to remember. The person who sits in the White House has zero impact. Again, let me say that again. The person who sits in the White House has zero impact on my ability to make the choice to love my neighbor, speak a kind word, give generously, seek justice for the oppressed, help someone in need, cherish my spouse, celebrate my children, and worship my God. You keep that in mind, and it won't matter who wins the election. God bless you all.